how, how, let me ask you this, how hard is it to get power bombed into light bulbs? How, how skillful, and don't get me wrong, takes balls, I'm sure. But where is the art form? Because number one, wrestling, professional wrestling, is an art form. The object of professional wrestling, as we talked about earlier, is to go in and be able to walk out without getting hurt. I don't care who you are, but if you take a backdrop off a scaffold on the barbed wire and light bulbs, you're going to get hurt. Terry Funk and Cactus Jack did their explosion match in, in uh, Japan, but they did it once, maybe twice. I don't know, but it wasn't every single month, every single week. When they did it, it meant something, and they sold it. Same way with the ladder matches. In WWF at the time, the ladder matches were getting a little too much. There were too many ladder matches. But when they started, they meant something because they took these huge bumps. And if you've ever even just laid on a ladder, it hurts to just lay on it. And these guys are getting nailed and hit with it. Excuse me. They were selling it for the most part. But you also had to respect the fact that these guys were tough enough to do it. But once they did a ladder match, my God, they sold it the next day where usually they wouldn't work on Raw. Uh, but I do remember one time when they did work on Raw in another ladder match, which was totally ridiculous because the guys were, were dead. They were hurting. But if you do it every single time you run a show, it's kind of like this. And I'm going to go ahead and say this on tape. Jim Cornette came up with this analogy, but I always use it in my seminars and camps because hopefully you can understand it. And I'm going to look in the camera because maybe you can use this. If you walk by a building and you see two elephants fucking, you're, you're going to walk in the building and say, hey, did you just see those two elephants fucking? Holy shit! There's two elephants out there fucking! Um, the second day you come in and those two elephants are still out there fucking, you're going to come in and say, shit, man, you see those two elephants? They're still fucking! Holy shit! And you know, by the third day, you're going to come in and say, oh, man, there's those fucking elephants. It's the same thing with the high spots, same thing with the ultraviolence. God damn, did you see that guy get slammed in, those, in, the, in the barbed wire and in the lights and the thumbtacks and the horse shit and the bullshit? Holy shit! And by the third match, you're going, yeah, okay. So you get slammed in barbed wire and horse shit and lights and, okay, great. Holy shit, holy shit. Uh, it kind of loses its effect after a while, man. So don't, you do it all the time. It's just another thing you're doing instead of when it means something. That's why the hardcore matches, when they first came out, they meant something. They didn't see it all the time. But once it became common day occurrences, yeah, seen it, been there, done that. So it doesn't take much art form, it doesn't take much skill to kill yourself. The skillful part is to make it look like you killed yourself or look like you killed your opponent and you didn't. That's the illusion. We're creating an illusion. As a matter of fact, another definition of professional wrestling is it's an illusion. And we've let the people in too much on how we do our magic and how the illusion is done. I think that's what bullshit is. Don't tell everybody how you do something. That's another thing independent guys do is they bring their kids in the dressing room, change their diapers, and let everybody hear what the finish is. They let the marks come in the dressing room, which I really don't like because the dressing room is your sanctuary. The dressing room is off limits. There should be mystery there. There should be stuff that people don't see and don't hear. Because we, we are magicians. We are the guys who go out there and do this stuff. And to go out there and do it and make it look like we got the living shit kicked out of us and come back going, man, that was great, didn't feel a thing. Doesn't always happen because you take bumps, it hurts. You're going to get potato. Things are going to happen. But, again, coming off a scaffold in a barbed wire, you know, sure you're tough, but are you fucking stupid too? Just asking.